Let's check your storm track weather on this Thursday morning. This is a day we've got to be really careful about how we deal with that heat. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Dangerous heat today. Yeah. And I know it gets hot in the south, and some people say, well, it's just hot. It's That's the right. summer. But today, because we're going to have prolonged hours of temperatures, it feels like temperatures at 105 to 110. That's why we're issuing that weather aware today. Let me jump right to where our highs are going to top out this afternoon to give you just a perspective of this heat. I think Tuscaloosa will be one of our hottest locations, 99 degrees. But it will feel closer to 110 in Tuscaloosa, I believe. Jasper at 97. So our northern communities are actually going to see a bit more sunshine and be baking in that heat just a bit more. Birmingham 98, a mix of sun and clouds. But I think anywhere east of Interstate 65 and south of 20, especially, could see more scattered showers. That's why temperatures are going to hold there in the mid 90s. With some of those passing showers, it may prevent those feels like temperatures to reach the criteria for heat advisories. That's why we're not seeing widespread counties issued for heat advisories right now, but keep in mind the heat is still dangerous. Hydrate early, even though it's a sunny start and a dry start this morning. We could also see some scattered showers and storms later this afternoon. 76 is our current temperature and dew points are in the mid 70s, so it's going to be a sticky afternoon with mid 70s across the board. That's where we're starting temperature wise, but let me show you this. This is our sticky factor. Okay, this is showing our dew point temperatures. I don't show this map every day, but here's a good little indicator. When these dew point temperatures start climbing, into the mid 60s, we get uncomfortable. 70 and above, it's in that oppressive range. Everywhere pretty much is uh, above the 70 degree mark. So, this coupled with 90 degree temperatures easily will make feels like temperatures in the low 100s. So, that sticky factor, those dew point temperatures have a big part to play and why the heat becomes so dangerous. You know, it's one of those days where you walk outside and it's just, it's hard to breathe sometimes. Our storm track radar is showing a dry scan right now. The closest shower I can even find is over in South Carolina. As we march through the day, though, we are going to see some scattered showers developing in East Alabama. This is 12 o'clock in the afternoon from Anniston down to Talladega. Keep in mind, look at Hamilton, 95 degrees at 12 o'clock. Coleman will be at 92. I think our hottest locations will be in West Alabama because a bit of cloud cover and a few more showers are going to keep temperatures, say, in the mid-90s. And then those showers and storms will continue through the early evening in East Alabama, and temperatures finally slip back into the 70s by early tomorrow morning. Heat is back on tomorrow, and we'll also notice some coverage of rain for your Friday as well. The coverage increases as we move into the weekend, but the best opportunity for wet weather will be early next week. And with an increased opportunity for rain and storms early next week, those temperatures will slip back into the lower 90s. And that's a look at your storm track seven-day forecast.